So today we are doing DIY stall signs and we're just going to jump right in. So the first thing you guys are going to need is obviously a slide of wood. We got ours from Michaels. Um, you guys are going to need some sort of letters. I printed mine out from the computer and Sierra got hers from Michaels and they're just stick-ons. You guys are also, it's optional, you guys can put pictures of your guys' horses in you if you want. Um, I have little extra sparkly things that I wanted to put on mine. Um, you guys are definitely going to need some Mod Podge and a sponge to get that going around. Some sparkles are definitely optional, but you guys know me. I love sparkles. A stapler and some pens. We use a stapler to help put the string on to hang the, the signs. And the pens just to trace out things. Um, you guys are going to need some scissors. And definitely an icy. I was drinking an icy, guys. So, in this part of the video, Sierra is just starting to stick on her letters. She had them all laid out. Um, it does take a while for her to stick up all of them, so I just kind of split it and watch, had you guys watch her do the first one, and then had her do the last one. Oh, and I wanted to apologize for the last clip. The last clip was like twisted in a the different direction. I don't know what happened to it, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to rotate. So yeah, it was kind of weird. But anyway, and then you guys are also looking at the screen upside down because it's the only way I can get my tripod to work. So anyway, there you go. Sierra's got her last letter on. What I'm doing off camera is basically just cutting out the letters that I printed from the computer. My recommendation is it's a heck of a lot easier to buy letters from the store, but I wanted to be difficult and print mine out. Don't do that, guys. It's hard. And there's what Sierra's letters look like after she put them all on. And now this girl's going to figure out how to mod podge her pictures on. Which she makes a mess. You guys will see. So when you guys are putting pictures on, Mod Podge the bottom first, so you have something to stick it on, the Mod Podge will act as a glue, and then you guys are going to go over the front of the picture with the Mod Podge, and it kind of acts as a sealant, it'll help, oops, excuse me, it'll help keep the picture on and it won't peel off. And like I said, Sierra made a mess, she got a little carried away with the top coat of Mod Podge, so I had to help her wipe it all off. Don't be like Sierra, don't use a lot. You guys don't want it to get super cloudy because then it's going to be like that. You guys aren't going to want it to get cloudy and streaky because it's going to leave your picture streaky when it dries. And this stuff does dry clear so you guys don't have to worry about it. But see, I had to help her scrape some of it off because she had the whole dang bottle of Mod Podge on her picture. Now I have finally got my letters cut out and I was fighting with a sticky thing, trying to get the dang thing to work and stick onto my thing without sticking to my fingers. I finally got both of them and then started arranging my letters how I wanted them. Sierra was giving hers just a top coat of Mod Podge. And there's her finished project. In the meantime, I am still sticking letters onto my wood sheet or board, whatever you want to call it. And this thing took me forever, so I just fast forwarded it. You guys get the basics on how to stick letters on, so that's my finished product. Well, not finished, that's just my letters. Time to bling it up with some sparkles and some Mod Podge, because y'all know me. Oh, I forgot, we're going to put some pictures on before we bling it up. So like I said with Sierra, put a first coat down on top of your wood where your guys' picture is going to go. And then you guys are going to, after you do that, you're going to put your picture on top of that and then Mod Podge over it.
Okay, so I went ahead and did my other picture, and that's just what both my pictures and my stall sign look like. Now I'm blinging it up with a few crystals, um, just because you guys know me, I hate plain. I like some sparkle up in here. Basically, I was just taking my little rhinestones and just mod podging them on. And here's your guys' finished project. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.